Red Rock. Yeah, the alcoholic Autobot. Had to actually request on uh, my last NES I picked up by one of my subscribers who, uh, I don't know how to pronounce uh, their, their YouTube name. Uh, Hi Karate. Maybe I'm wrong with that. Um, check him out. I'm going to put him like right below at the end of this video. You'll see it down below my info box. He uploads a lot of other older video game stuff as well as trailers from old shows and commercials you haven't seen in, even before I was born. Uh, a lot of interesting stuff if you like retro uh, things. Check him out if you got the time. I'm sure he'd appreciate it. That'd be awesome. Uh, he w wanted me to say uh, a few things about uh, Codemaster carts and uh, the game that I was talking about that I picked up at Just Press Play. Fantastic Adventures of Dizzy. Uh, and I don't know if anyone has a video on it. You know, some quick info. The company started in 86. I think fell apart in 07. I might be wrong. Put out some other games for Atari 7800, I think. And Commodore 64. And they were making games with, uh, if you can see the emblem right there, Comerica or America, I'm not sure how that was pronounced either that they'd be able to disable the NES lockout chip on the console itself to be able to play uh, unlicensed games. Which, that's basically what these were, unlicensed NES games. Uh, NES games that were licensed, they would have the Nintendo seal of approval you know, somewhere on it, which these don't. Uh, you know, they're a lot different in the shape, and you can get them in silver and gold, and I think there's some matte blacks and even blue ones and stuff like that, like some of the Bible games. And I showed in the video before of that uh, little sector switch there with some instructions on it and stuff. Yeah, I don't know if you can read that. Yeah, as you can see, I got it for four ninety nine as per my last video said. A uh, few things about Dizzy. The game is, I guess, a platform puzzle, and you go around and you're picking up items, and you're switching around to use them to get to your wherever you else got to go next. That's how you have to advance. Sometimes you have to backtrack, of course. There's uh, some open world ends on the game. I find it very amusing, and I used to play it when I was little, and I'm anxious to do it again. Uh, it was actually a successful title, I guess, in the late 80s in Europe. Uh, there's a nine games total in the series without the spin-offs. And it's just kind of weird that, uh, what is it, the Yolk Folk or whatever, that everybody that he's friends and family with that are the Yolk Folk, they're all eggs, as you'll see later. Yeah, he kind of looks like an egg. It's like Humpty Dumpty's little brother and shit. Uh... They all have D names. What some of what I have written down: here, Daisy, Dory, and Dozy. That's some shit you can drink to. Trying to play with an egg and get through it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fire up the NES and we're gonna take a look at this game here. Code Masters, yeah. Absolutely brilliant! Uh, you can tell right away with the blips and the bleeps, they're a little bit high pitched. Uh, they definitely work well, I guess, together, but are still a little bit on the annoying edge. Uh, press start, that's what the hell we're gonna do. Daisy has been captured by the evil wizard Zax. Only Dizzy is brave and clever enough to rescue her from a terrible fate. Leaving the safety of the Yoke Folks Treehouse Village, Diz Why the fuck isn't his name capitalized? Kids are playing this game. Teach him proper fucking English. Uh, you jump with B. Pick up items with A. Simple. The movement's very solid. The jumps are dead on. Uh... When you pick up food, it's instant. My first fucking quarrel of the game, 
Go in the item. Yeah, I know what the fuck button I gotta press. You gotta keep moving it over to the your front spot to go through something. And you have to press the item button again to go through the door. You don't press up or down. This is our basic goal of the game besides the item swapping to get to where we gotta go to collect these. There's a hundred stars in the game. Just because I got my first one out the door. And the, fir the first couple pretty easy. Don't mean it's going to be a trip down uh, easy street. Come on, bitch. Picking up some items. It's kind of sluggish. It does get annoying moving this slow. There's no way to speed up his pace. I don't have any damage yet to show you what some of these uh, fruit do. I don't even know what that guy does. I don't even know if I want him to touch me yet. Oh, I probably gotta get cheese or something later. I mean, being a mouse. And get past these guys. Oh. Huh, huh, huh. See, see, see. Nope. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, guess we ain't getting there right now. Not today, at least. Uh, the animation for Dizzy for an 8 bit is uh, pretty smooth, I think. You'll see he's got, you know, animation when he gets hurt. Look at his happy face bouncing around. Oh, found some fruit. Look at that. Uh, like how I had to give cheese to the mice, probably what I've got to find later in the game. I probably have to do something with the king right here, or whatever he is. I got a chicken right here. 97 to go. Uh, I'll demonstrate that a little bit later. Oh! If I can't get past him, but this is where items come to play. You starts pause to so select you go to your item screen, and you can check out what you got. And it'll give you a little uh, thing up top. You are near the dangerous but glorious Crystal Falls of Swift River. Carrying... And these are what your items are. A tasty looking cooked chicken. Shit, I can eat some fucking chicken right now. Uh, key for Denzel's elevator. A large, strong plank of wood. Where the fuck is he putting these? First of all, he's a fucking egg. And boxing gloves, they holding shit. So maybe that uh, little rhinoceros thing, he might want some chicken. Let's check that shit out. <laughs> and that one will let us be able to, to progress further. This. Oh! A little hurt there. Left, that's why I left this fruit up in the tree? Nom, 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 nom. Man, it took a lot of uh, health away. There's a couple other little mini games uh, like this. I wonder if I'll be able to do it. It's been uh, quite a few years. I wonder if they do it the same way each time or it, it goes random. Uh, I think it goes random. No way I would have ever had that front corner go back. Oh, I got it all fucked up now. Dun, 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 dun. Oh shit, bitch, damn that. Oh, look at that! Hocus Pocus busy whizzy conjure me up another motherfucking dizzy! Putsy! Ah! Again, look how good that's animated! Colors are real good in this game. For the price and the enjoyment you get out of it, I know I joked about the music and everything. It's still a little bit upbeat. It makes you want to keep, you know, like, yeah, I'm going to beat the game. You know, it's definitely got some, some sort of a soundtrack. It, everything changes a little bit. It's not like the same shit over and fucking over again. 
Uh, guess I'm gonna give a couple quick hints of going along what you gotta do to uh, progress. Plank of wood. Look at that. We just, what did I just pick up? Key for the ground elevator. Actually, I'm gonna grab. Remember that plan I got? Uh, was I wasn't stuck at? I knew what I had to do. But uh, pick this up. A bottle of snapping weed killer. <laughs> oh, fuck a spider. Ah, who cares? It, you know, suckers take quite a bit of damage over here. I used the one for the ground elevator. Oh, did I drop that? Oh, yeah, that was Denzel's key. Not bullshitting you. Ugh. Wait. Oh, I just decided to pop it. I need to go get. Do I have anything? Yeah, I hit it behind the tree. That's another issue I would have thought about. If you, like, drop things behind uh, a tree, you're never going to be able to see it. There. That's what I'm looking for. I'm going to place that bottle there. I never actually. I made a good revelation, revelation, yeah, revelation, that's the fucking word for it. Something I never knew before. Ah, uh, see, we use that in the elevator. Ah, uh, well, at least you get to witness him dying. It would be funny if, uh, like, the yolk cracked and, like, ah! Come on. And then remember, we've got a bottle of snapping weed killer. Select that. You know, uh, that stays right there. You won't ever really need that again, I don't think. Need some food, even though I don't need that. Oh, what we got here? A long length of tough rope. Sorry, I keep pausing before I hit select before I go to the screen. And the screen switch is so fast on this, it's amazing. Yeah! Nah, oh, can't see all the animation of them falling over. 95. Now, again, like, the first five stars aren't... You know, it seems somewhat easy, but... It progresses. Another thing of his, uh, facial expressions. Yeah, you know, piss starts like, you know, volcano things, throwing ashes, or it's raining or something. Oh, hey, uh, I think Dizzy's going for something that I'm about to go for here in a sec. And we're probably going to call it quits here. Yeah, no way, Dizzy needs what I need. Oh, look at that, another star. Nine of three. That's what Dizzy's looking for. An empty bottle, empty medicine bottle. Well, mine's over here, it ain't empty, but it's a beer and i got to finish it, so, uh... Hope you enjoy my mini shitty review of this game and know what it's about. Uh, so check out some Code Masters maybe. Like I say, uh, I give it a 4.5 out of 5 beers. So it's definitely worth a try for the price. Take it easy. Drink one on me.